Welcome to Home Church PX and strengthen your faith at the comfort of your home. So don't forget to follow, like, and share. I appreciate it. I will make bread enter to you and you will come to life. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 5. The God who restores by Kimia Loder. The God who restores. On November 4, 1966, a disastrous flood swept through Florence, Italy, submerging Giorgio Vasari's renowned work of art, The Last Supper, under a full of mud, water, and heating oil for more than 12 hours. With its paint softened and its wooden frame significantly damaged, many believed that the piece was beyond repair. However, after a tedious 50 years conservation effort, expert and volunteers were able to overcome monumental obstacles and restore the valuable painting. When the Babylonians conquered Israel, the people felt hopeless. Surrounded by death and destruction, in need of restoration, see Lamentation chapter 1. During this period of turmoil, God took prophet Ezekiel to a valley and gave him a vision where he was surrounded by dry bones. In these bones lived, God asked. Ezekiel responded, Lord, you, know, you alone know. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 3. God then called to prophesy over the bones so they might live again. As I was prophesying, Ezekiel recounted, there was a noise, rattling sound, and bones came together. Through this vision, God revealed to Ezekiel that Israel restoration could only come through him. When we feel as if things in life have broken and beyond repair, God assures us He can reveal our shattered pieces. He will give us new breath and new life. Let us reflect in free. What's broken in your life? How might you rely on God's offering? Restoration. Offer your dear God. Parts of my life seems like they'll never be restored. I try to fix them on my own, but my only hope of restoration is found in you. Amen. Be blessed beyond.